Do you want to learn how to trap starlings with a tomahawk starling trap? Let's learn how. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds Channel. I've been trapping starlings for six years and I've caught hundreds using the tomahawk starling trap. I trap starlings so the woodpeckers can nest successfully and the native birds can eat at my feeders. One method I use to trap starlings is the tomahawk starling trap. If you bait it properly, you can catch most of the starlings that visit your yard. This is the tomahawk trap in action. Watch as the starling enters the trap through the entrance funnel in pursuit of the bait. If you like nature how-to videos, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. So what is a starling and why would you want to trap them? Let me explain. The starling, also known as the common or European starling, is an invasive introduced species in North America and elsewhere. This starling has taken over a flicker woodpecker box and is excavating wood shavings from it. It is an extremely aggressive bird that outcompetes native cavity nesting birds and will destroy their eggs, young, and even adults in order to use a nesting cavity. They are also very aggressive at suet feeders, preventing native birds from eating. They are not a protected species in North America and can be legally trapped and eliminated. For more information on starlings and their competitive nature, click on the link at the top of this video. Let's look at the equipment we need to trap starlings. We need a tomahawk starling trap. We need bait. I prefer to use my homemade peanut butter suet, but you can also use commercial suet. Just make sure it's a peanut suet. Starlings love peanuts. And we need a suet feeder. I use both a log feeder where the suet is stuffed into holes or in a suet cage feeder made to hold pre-made suet blocks. Let's look at the characteristics of the tomahawk starling trap. It's a relatively large trap with two funnel-like openings on each end that the birds enter to eat the bait. It also has an access door for removing trapped birds and two folding handles on top for lifting the trap. Let's watch how the trap catches starlings. The trap is baited with suet outside the trap, in the funnels of the trap, and inside the trap. The starlings come for suet at a feeder above the trap, but some will drop to the ground to eat the suet around the trap. As they eat the suet on the ground, some will follow the crumbs of suet into the trap. Once they enter through a funnel into the trap, they are captured. Before using the trap, the entrance funnels should be set to roughly two and a half inches tall and one and a half inches wide. This is done by bending the end prongs on each funnel. You may also want to plug one of the funnels to allow only one point of access to the trap. This reduces the chances of trap birds escaping. To set the trap, place it beneath a suet feeder that starlings frequently visit. Bait the trap with either homemade or commercial peanut suet. Use the trap as a grater and rub the suet cake along the top and sides to cause pieces of suet to break off of the cake on the inside and outside of the trap. Pay special attention to the areas just outside the funnels and inside the funnels to make sure they are well baited. Also make sure there is plenty of suet inside the trap to entice the birds to enter. Remember, the only suet available to the starlings should be in the feeder above the trap and in and around the trap. So let's talk about when bait traps can be used for catching starlings. The only times I'm able to catch starlings with bait traps is winter and early spring when starlings come to eat suet in my yard. In Topeka, I've caught the vast majority of starlings in baited traps in the months of January, February, and March, with the peak month being March. Once the flocks break up and the birds begin nesting, I switch to using nest box traps. See more about catching starlings with nest box traps by following the link at the top of the video. When trapping birds, using live decoys can attract more birds, but I don't recommend using them in this trap. Birds left in the trap can escape after being in it for a minute or two. Once they realize they are in a confined space, they become agitated and may scare away birds outside the trap. Trapped birds can also attract predators, like hawks or cats. For these reasons, I do not recommend using decoy birds in this trap. 
Once there are birds in the trap and the birds outside the trap have flown away, the captured birds should be removed. First, you should block both funnel entrances as sometimes birds will escape as you are removing them from the trap. Open the door, reach in with one hand, and keep the opening covered with your free hand to prevent escapes. Remove the birds one at a time, always closing the door to prevent trap birds from escaping. Once removed, the birds should be euthanized immediately or put in another cage to be euthanized later. When operating the trap, there are a few rules you need to follow. Only use it when starlings are visiting your yard eating suet. Place the trap where it is visible from inside your house so you can see when birds are caught. When in use, monitor the trap frequently. Starlings can escape and native birds may get caught. If a native bird is captured, it should be released immediately. To release a native bird, just open the door and it will fly out. In Topeka, I've caught American robins, common grackles, dark-eyed juncos, and yellow-rumped warblers. But there are many kinds of birds that like peanut suet, so expect others. If you can't monitor for a period of time, block the funnels or open the door of the trap. Be careful when removing starlings from the trap so that they don't escape. Beware, they will use their long pointed bill to stab and bite you. You should wear gloves when handling them. Do not leave starlings in the trap too long. Remove them shortly after capturing them to prevent birds from escaping. Don't release starlings somewhere else as that just moves the problem. Instead, they should be humanely euthanized. There is a link in the description to learn more about euthanizing starlings. Let's talk about my results from trapping starlings with the tomahawk trap. Since I started using the tomahawk starling trap in 2014, I've caught over 300 starlings with it. I've found that using it along with other baited traps is an efficient method of trapping starlings when they are seeking out suet. Once breeding season begins, I also use nest box traps to catch starlings. With the reduction of starlings eating at my suet feeders, the native birds can eat without being harassed. And because I trap starlings, the flicker woodpeckers and great crested flycatchers have been able to nest successfully in my yard. Before I started trapping, the starlings destroyed the flicker's nest and killed the baby flickers. By trapping and eliminating starlings in my yard, other cavity nesting birds likely nest successfully in my neighborhood. Using the information you just learned, you should be successful at catching starlings with the tomahawk starling trap. You can find links to purchase the tomahawk trap, commercial peanut suet, and cage suet feeder in the video description. Also listed is a link to the homemade peanut butter suet recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below the video. For more how-to videos like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. Be sure to click the bell widget to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.